everyone and welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys my takedown as well as detangling process after a sew-in so if you guys are interested in this video then please stay tuned so i've had my sew-in for about three months and during that time i did not wash my braids underneath the sew-in but i did wash the bundles as well as my leave out so if you guys want to check out that process i do have a video on my channel also, I do have a video on my channel of how I kept my braids moisturized and I also have a video of when I got my sew-in installed. So right now I'm just currently just showing you guys the new growth that I've gotten in the past three months and now I'm in the process of taking down the sew-in, which was a lot harder than I thought. And in the previous clip, I was showing you guys a little piece of my hair that I had cut by accident. So... It didn't start off well, but I eventually got the weave off my head. So now I'm just showing you guys uh, more of my new growth once I've removed the sew-in. So that way you guys can have a better look of how much new growth I've gotten in the past three months. So now when it comes to the takedown process, you want to make sure that your hair is moisturized prior to taking down your braids. Whether you have plaids, cornrows, or um twist in your hair so um when you moisturize your hair prior to taking down the protective style it keeps tangles and damage at a minimum so my hair is very moisturized so i didn't need to add additional moisturizing products to my hair just because before the bundles were sewn into my hair my hairstylist used the products from my hair care line she used the Arcasia mango hair butter as well as my henna rosemary hair oil and then also during the time i had the sewing in i used my um, hair mist as well as the henna rosemary oil during that time so my hair is very moisturized so as you can see i am really gliding to through these braids so it's very important that your hair is moisturized before you take down your braids also remember even if you're wearing extensions your natural hair that's woven in is still growing and going through its regular phases as you wear your braids there will be some shedding when you take out a protective style since hair has been in that style for a while be extremely careful when taking down your braids at the hairline the hair there is very delicate and breaks easily. So you wanna go slow and take your time when it comes to unraveling your braids. These clips are obviously sped up to save some time, um, but I'm definitely taking my time and going slow and unraveling my braids. Also by doing this, it helps to reduce friction and it also helps to reduce knots. Also, if you are taking down your braids and your hair is extremely dry, you want to use a hydrating tool to reduce breakage as well as tangling. Ensuring that your hair is good and slippery beforehand helps. You can hydrate with a leave-in conditioner or a mix of water and regular conditioner in a spray bottle. Slip is important to add in taking down a protective style. So what you would do is you would generously coat and massage the conditioner or leave-in or detangler product into the braids or twist before beginning the takedown process. The tighter the curl is in the hair, the more fragile it is when dry. So also I would recommend that as you take out each braid that you go ahead and start to detangle um, and separate each section as you go along but at the time I wasn't able to do it I had somewhere to go real quick but then I came back later and started to detangle my hair So this is how much shed hair I got from just taking down my braids. So now I'm back and I'm gonna go ahead and detangle my hair. So first I'm just gonna split my hair into four sections and then I'm gonna be working with each section individually and splitting each section into smaller sections. So um, once I've um, divided my hair into smaller sections, then um, what I'm going to do is saturate each section with a 
conditioner. The conditioner I like to use is the VO5 um, Kiwi S Squeeze. And I just like using this conditioner to detangle my hair because it's just super cheap. And I like that it's really runny. So um, it gives me uh, the slip that I need to detangle my hair. And then I like to go in with a detangle brush. You can use a wide tooth comb or you can even, even finger detangle your hair as well. When it comes to using a detangling tool, whether it's a wide tooth comb or detangle brush, um, it helps the detangling process to go a lot faster. Also, it helps to get up any debris that may be on your scalp or on your hair. And it also helps to prevent your hair from getting matted during the detangling process. How you detangle is equally as important. You need to work in a downward motion. Not working in a downward motion will cause more work. The detangling process will also break up any buildup that has been formed. After I finished detangling my hair towards the end of the video, I'll be showing you guys how much shed hair I got from detangling my hair. And um, once again, this video is just the takedown and detangling process. So I do have a video coming up of my wash day process. So stay tuned for that. Um, also, all the videos that I've mentioned in this video, I will go ahead and leave a link down in the description box. Also, don't forget to check out my hair care line, crayolily.com. The link is always in the description box. We are currently working on a restock. So by the time this video comes out, we should have fully restocked again. If not, then you can always sign up for our email list to be notified of when your favorite items are back in stock. Um, thank you to those who have purchased from us. We truly appreciate you. And yeah, so... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. And the next video should be the wash day routine. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys once again. Uh, truly appreciate you guys. And bye.